latest situation on ground and how Ukraine is dealing with the bombing and its aftermath after eight months. Let's now quickly cut across to some of the finest and the bravest reporters who remain on Ground Zero. Joining me on India First is Denis Bakmachuk and Denis is reporting from Kiev. Cyril Miranakov is a roving reporter on Ground Zero in Ukraine and you're seeing that even now in this biting cold they're out in the field getting you the latest reports and of course my privilege to be joined by Ivana Klimpush. She's the chair of the Parliamentary Committee on Integration of Ukraine to the European Union. Welcome to all my guests. And Dennis, I want to begin by asking you, what's the latest situation on ground right now? Dennis. Well, yes, Sudhir. Good, afternoon. Good evening. As you can see behind my back, they, uh, serve, the city services are doing their best to clean up the mess after the rocket strike, after the missile strike. And also, this is one, was one missile, and uh, if you go 100 meters that way, there will be another one right next to the ch children's playground. If this is not a terror, I don't know what is, because there is no uh, military structures here, only educational uh, institutions. For example, behind my back now is the uh, Kiev National University of uh, Taras Shevchenko. And there, uh, behind my back now, there is an institute of uh, philology. Uh, as uh, by this minute, there were 84 missiles launched at Ukraine, 43 of which were disabled in uh, the air by the uh, air defense forces of Ukraine. And also there was 24 drones launched at Ukraine, 13 of which were uh, kamikaze drones. 13 of uh, drones were disabled, 10 of which are kamikaze drones. Okay, also, we're looking at these moment, images. We're looking at these images, Dennis, and uh, we see that you still have electricity, at least in this part of Kyiv. But Cyril, where you are, how bad is the damage and what has been the impact of targeting of infrastructure projects, especially power plants? Cyril. Yes. Uh, the let me for a moment also no, bring in Serhil into this conversation. Serhil, can you hear me? Studio, good evening, studio. Hi, hi yes, good right, evening. Right, right now we are on the left bank, which had a missiles in the energetic infrastructure and parts give today, unfortunately, uh, they have no electricity, they have no power in their, uh, in their, in their uh, Our officials ask the Ukrainians to reduce using electric power from 5 p.m. till the 12 p.m. today and after because we're expecting other missile because the Russians are attacking on the crucial infrastructure to cause the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine and make a panic, but they will not do this properly.